Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we're looking at The Honest Company. I believe Jessica Alba, Jessica Biel. One of the Jessicas, we're gonna find out. Jessica Alba. Jessica Alba owns The Honest Company. We're gonna look at the stock and see what we can decipher from it. Uh, okay, so the stock had an amazing day. Holy cow. Um, I'm reviewing this several weeks back because I am away from my office. I'm away from my equipment. So uh, it looks like they had a wonderful earnings. I'm just going to go back and see if there's any gaps that need to be filled along the way up. Ooh, 570 potentially five dollars and seventy cents ooh right here 12.59 that's as far back as it's letting me okay 12.59 and 5.70 the stock is at 442 for whatever um does the stock deserve to be here we're gonna find out the rsi the strength is coming into the stock which is good for the stock momentum is nice enough money flow is going up relative momentum look at this angle all signs point to up. Uh, the sales, this is exactly what you want to see in a company. You want to see a nice little stair step up. This It's been a little flat for a few years, but I think the company, it looks like they're getting in stride. Shares outstanding, it looks like some dilution. They did have 20, or I'm sorry, 90 million shares available in 2019. 2023, they had 95 million, so it's about a 5 million share increase into the pool. EPS, mixed messages here it looks like it's basically flat negative they are not profitable but they have great gross margins um let's go ahead and run my calculation on this company and see what this stock price could be worth so they make 344 million seven hundred thousand but they lose 39 million at 240 thousand okay and let's see how long they've been unprofitable. Maybe they are going, getting into profitability. Uh, oh, I need to get into quarterly here. Okay. Uh, nope. It looks like they had a profitable quarter, potentially, on the earnings call. Maybe that's what was so exciting. I'm not sure. Uh, let's actually just see. All right, let's see what we've got here. Impressive fourth quarter, okay. So revenue is up 10%, gap profit. Okay, so they were profitable. Okay, and they beat, they beat guidance. Wow, they were profitable last quarter, okay. They've got free cash flow. That's great. Oof. All right. This company. All right. So they did have a profitable quarter. That's great news. Um, honestly, at these prices, they are an awesome acquisition target. Uh, or this could be something to hold in your portfolio for a long time. Um, if they continue with their profitability. Okay, so every 60 million they spend, they make 90 million. That's about 30% gross margins, what we looked at. Um, okay, let's look at their balance sheet and go back to our calculation here. They have 32,830,000 in cash. Okay, total debt is... 21 million 740,000 all right uh total assets 201 million total liabilities 78 million awesome their assets dwarf their liabilities two to one i feel very comfortable with this stock a lot of insider selling i don't like but yeah i would like to see more okay the ceo is buying stock that's what i like to see ceo is buying stock ceo is buying stock 
Is Carla also selling stock? It doesn't look like it. I don't think I see Carla selling stock. That's a good, that's a good indication. Wow, she bought 50,000 shares for $1.69. 84,000 shares. She, she has almost over 2 million shares. Good for her. Okay, or him. I don't know if it's Carla. You never know. Okay, uh, very cool. We're going to take this and divide it by 56 million, 70,000. Potential stock price of $5.64. And it's trading at 4.42 right now. This could get some legs on it. This could get some legs. Um, let's, let's draw some uh, areas out here. Okay, so here is an area of resistance. Here's an area of support and resistance. Okay, so I think the near-term target could be 511. Again, 564 was my calculated price target. Uh, very high, high estimates here from analysts. Um, yeah, I think 520, 511, 560, that's decent. Um, again, if they're going to continue to grow the way they are, I think this could be a, a juggernaut in the future if they do not get bought out. If I think Jessica Biel bought this or owns this company, if Jessica Biel wants her payday, she'll get her payday uh, along with the other founders and shareholders. But, you know, I mean, it's it's not often you see a stock IPO during a huge downturn when the stock took a, a crap from 2021 highs recovered at a dollar no recovered around a dollar 20 now up to four almost five bucks that's pretty good again we just need to see consistency and growing numbers so yeah if you're in this one very cool I would like to see um the growth continue uh what are institution and hedge fund resources doing it says institutions and hedge funds own 32 percent that's old data that was on finviz now we're looking on this website it's going to give us an updated 52 percent that's a 20 percent increase in institutional hedge fund ownership holy fudge pancakes Jessica Warren purchased 6 million shares. The Honest Company has shares and they're buying some shares. Looks good. Vanguard trimmed their position. They're probably regretting that. Wow. Good for them. Good for them. Wow. Very, very cool. Very exciting times. Wow. They're, the institutional and hedge fund ownership went up 20%. That's the highest I've seen in a long time. Wow. All right. Uh, if you're in the stock and you've made money, congrats. If you are shorting, you're probably feeling the pain. Yeah, I, I like this one. I don't think I'm gonna take a position yet, but this is a good one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this content or you made it this far, consider and subscribe, considering like, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Have a good one, bye.